Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel once again. I'm happy to have you here. Today, I want to show you how I built a tool that I can use to correct, make corrections in emails and also to, to filter spam out of my mails. You know, sometimes you use your mail service uh, to send bulk emails. And most of it, a lot of the times, the mails land in the spam folder. So I got this idea. I wanted to test run it. By the way, this tool is on my website, AIReviewHub.com. On this website, we just focus on reviewing AI technology. We deal with popular questions, AI tools. We do reviews of AI tools. Uh, we do, we showcase best AI prompt. If you know, as, as you may be aware, uh, tools like ChatGPT are as intelligent as the prompt you give them, or they are as dull as the prompt you give them. Then they have AI tools that I use and I recommend. So I'll be showing some of this. So today I want to show you this tool. I built it today. Uh, by the way, I'll be building another one for generating, uh, smashing, maybe email titles or uh, subject titles, subject line titles, uh, YouTube title generators, YouTube ideas. I'll be creating those free tools on this same website, AIReviewHub.com. Uh, AI I also have another website, GeraldReviews.com. I'll be creating another we also have magicai.online. That is our, uh, that's a massive, massive project. It's still on. We'll be launching that uh, in a few weeks. Uh, we have a lot of um, prompt templates there that you can use in creating all kinds of content. So for today, let's focus. So to do this, you will need to go to, and by the way, this is a WordPress website too. Let me first show you how this works. I'm going to paste an email here. This tool, when you come here, you paste your email into this place, your email that you have written. So I'm just going to paste an email here. And then I will just run the tool. And then it will go through the email, make corrections, help me to rewrite it, and then show me the uh, uh, spam words that it picked out. I deliberately put some spam words in this particular mail. And so that will save time. I've already run this before. This will take a little bit of time. I'm going to show you the result it got here. So <laughs> it rewrote it uh, with its own language. It even put emojis here. And then it made some corrections. And then see, see what it discovered. Detected spam words. Yeah. And these are spam words it detected. And it has removed from the email. This will help you to land it in the inbox of your potential clients or customers or prospects. If you remove all these kinds of words, the word free, any service like Gmail or Yahoo sees free email, they just send you to either a promotion inbox or to the spam folder, things like that, bright future, limitless success, riches, new heights, all these kind of quality words. It will just uh, mark you as uh, a spam, a source of spam emails. So how did we build this tool? Let me go to the back end of uh, our page. <clears throat> I did a, a, just a small summary here with all the steps that you will need to take. First of all, you need to install what is, a, it's a plugin called WP Code. I'll show you how to get that. You will install that WP Code. Let me go to my plugins. Here, yeah, this is plugins. Uh, that, that was a little bit slow today, but let's be patient. This thing is done in three steps. You can actually get it done in no time at all. In no time at all. So, okay, good. The plugins page is opening. Uh, I already have that plugin installed, but for you to find it, you will click on add new, or you come up here, add new. It will open a new interface for you. And then you type in WP code. What does this WP code do? It's a plugin that allows you to add the code snippets. 
to the WordPress code itself. Hmm. You understand? In other words, you can use it to build your own tool by creating code snippets uh, and adding and adding it to your WordPress page. WP code code. So that and that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, before now, we had used ChatGPT to write. Uh, uh, and by the way, I learned this from uh, somebody whose course I bought. And that's why it's good you buy courses. Otherwise, you'll be struggling on your own. You know, so this is the this is the plugin. And so you you will come here. This is where it is. Where is it? Code uh, snippets. Yeah, that's it. If you code, come here, you click. Add snippet. Or rather, yeah, that's what you should click on add snippet. But I already have it on my on my page. So uh let me show you all snippets. And then um, you will pick this function. This is a function code. Hmm? This is a function code. This is what is like the software engine for what we are trying to do. So you copy this, copy it, or you right click. I'm going to give you all these codes, and I'll also show you how you can edit it for uh, your own unique purpose that you want to that you want to do. Code snippets. Let me show you where mine is. Let me pause this recording so I will save on time because this thing is okay, fine. These are the these are code snippets I have created before, you know. And uh, but the, for the purpose of what we are doing, this is the one I did today, AI email corrector and spam filter tool. And uh, you can see that these are the two active, these are disabled. So now if, if you were doing this, you just click on add new. When it opens up. You'll select this one, add your custom code. Hmm? You click on that to add your own custom code. These are other predetermined, prepared snippets. Right? You don't want to use those ones. Those ones are not relevant to what we are trying to do. So let it open. Let me pause this recording. Okay, so it has opened. So you see how it looks here. You give it a title. Like in my own case, I called it AI email corrector and spam filter. Then you put click, put your cursor here, this place, and then you paste that code that you copied from here. Now I'm going to put this on a TXT file, uh, file so that there won't be carrying over of uh, formatting. So you will paste it here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Before you do that, you select the uh php snippet this what we had here was the P, uh, html we want this is a php so you will see it here when you select you see the php here when it was on html just now it didn't show php at the top so that's how you know the code type that you are going to paste so you paste it here see now it's no longer highlighting as a problem now this thing runs on um on uh, on OpenAI's chat GPT. So you are going to have to paste your API key in this place. So if you don't know how to get your API key, that's easy. Uh, one of these days I'll do a video on that. But in the meantime, you can just search on the internet and you will get it. So there's no point. Okay, let me pause this recording so I can put my key there. All right, so we're back. Let me just be sure. Okay, so you paste the key here. This is where you paste it. Let's say the key is whatever, G, 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 whatever. Now, when you are done with that, you come here and ensure that it shows as run everywhere. Then you save it, save the snippet, and then you activate it. You activate it by clicking on this toggle, this button, and it becomes active. Now that code has become active. The next thing to do is to go and create the page where we will house the tool. 
And to do that, you come to pages and you click on add new page. Add new page. So let that open. It might take a bit of time, so I'll pause this recording again. So here we are on the page, took a bit of time. Now to build, we, this is one I already built. I'm just going to demonstrate to you how I did it. And now, so this is the description I wrote. And by the way, this I wrote with ChatGPT. That's full disclosure. Now, um, here, this is a blank page. I assume that this is a blank page. You pick some of the elements you want to use. This is Elemental I'm using for those who are are uh, familiar with Elemental. So I'm going to put a heading here. So I, I picked this one and I dragged it here. Uh, then I typed uh, my new, new AI tool. I centered it. You click on this to center it. That does that. And I put uh, another element, which uh, is for text. It's not a heading. So I just put this text editor drag it make sure it's under this one and then i typed in uh, i said this uh, this is a spam filter blah, blah, blah. or rather instead of doing that let's use a different uh, element let's just pick we'll use the same heading type uh, let's see, maybe we use the same header type, but we can use, we we'll use this, uh, we we'll use uh, H3. But say this is a spam filter, blah, 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 right? Well, we can we we'll type it in here inside this box here. So I'm going to change this one. To probably H4 to make it smaller than the rest, uh, the previous heading there. So we can turn this one to H1, maybe make it bigger. Yeah. So that's what that's what we have done so far. Nothing new. Then what we need to now do is to add the HTML on, and to do that, we get the HTML tool such that we can create a button here. So we drop it under here, here, so that we can then paste our HTML code here. I'm going to pick up the HTML code now where I have it saved. This is the HTML code. So I'll pick it from here to here. I already kept it. You will have, I have a link in the description where you can get it. So I paste it here, and so I put, um, initially what we had there was a different tool. So I'm going to change this one now. Instead of uh, generate story on your topic, I'm going to put, uh, change it. Uh, let's say, paste your email here. Okay, just a minute. Paste your email here. That's what I want it to be because this is a different thing. Paste, paste your email here so that when you come here on the front side of the page, this is what you will see. Then I'm not going to have generate story. I'm going to say run the tool. So I will look for that uh, place to edit it. I'm going to second. Uh, what I don't like to do, control F, generate story. So we can find it easily. Okay, there you have it. So I will change this one to run the tool now. Run tool now. You see? It's showing here now, right now. So the code is here, 
then we need one more code to make this thing complete, and that will be the Java code. It's one of two things. When you save it, either you come back here and pick another HTML uh, tool uh, for you to contain the content. You can just pick it and drop it under here so that you have a separate box for it. Or you can actually paste it at the bottom of this one. It's the same thing. It will give you the same result. So let's go to where I have the JavaScript kept aside. Now, this JavaScript is what will contain the prompt that ChatGPT will use to operate. You are going to see how it will work now. So I'm going to copy this and paste it into the JavaScript container. There you have it. Or I can place it here where I already prepared it. But don't place it on the 12M because it will cause uh, a conflict. So I've put it there. Now, what you need to do is to come and edit the prompt so that it will, it will take instruction from you. Now, wait to just uh, let me look for where I have that. The variable prompt. Hang on a second. So when you pasted this JavaScript um, here, look at where we are. Yeah, this, this. You come and look for this variable prompt. This one. This lines. We are. So for the variable prompt, you will see the content between these inverted commas. So you now, you give it the instruction you want ChatGPT to do. Like for this one now, we want it to be able to review, let me review the, it, okay, I need to save it, it's not tight. Sometimes it does like that. I'm not a, a software guy, so I really don't know why it does like that. Maybe it's the connector. So now in this uh, tool, we are trying to review an email, an email topic, let me call it, or the email that is posted, or rather that is pasted. No, for grammar, for grammar, spelling errors, and also identify time word, right? Okay, now. We've asked it to review the email topic that is pasted for grammar, spelling errors, errors. You have to be watchful. Yeah, spelling errors. And we, okay, rewrite the email. Rewrite the email with the corrections, right? Corrections. And then also identify spam words in the email. So now we've done that instruction. Save it. We can then, now I'm going to see, because I've already done this before, I'm going to remove all these now so that it won't cause a problem in the page. So I'm going to remove these. They are remove this and remove this. Okay. All right. So now we've got what we wanted. So that is the tool. The important thing is for you to know where you need to edit. You need to edit this one. This is the prompt. You understand? This is the prompt that will cause the thing to work. 
we edit that, then you also edit the code that is here. That is that. So once that is done, oh, my internet is. Okay. So once that is done, hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, so we are back. So now we have done, they will put the embedded code and everything. So once we, let's test it. You see where I tested it just now. I'm going to copy this, my long email. It's an example. And I'll come here. This is where I have it. And by the way, you can actually come to the website and use it free of charge. Free, hold on guys. Okay, the internet disconnected. I was trying to get that back up. So this is the tool. So like I said, I've copied this, my email, and I want to now test this email, right? So let me refresh this. Okay, now I know why it's showing there because this one I removed did not update because the internet failed. Okay, so let me update. That should be done now. Let's see. Let it refresh. Okay, voila. So I will test the email here that I want to test for spam and everything. Let's see uh, what it will tell us. Like I was saying, guys, you can come to AI Review Hub. In fact, I'll put the link to this tool in the description. But you can come to this place and use this tool free of charge. And then you can come to the YouTube channel and watch the video of how I did it. If you have questions, please reach out to me, and uh, we'll take it from there. Now, it's no longer detecting spam because I had cleaned it already. So you see, it ran through the email, and then it restructured it, you see. So this is how uh, you build it. Now, for those who would like to use this uh, Tool, I will drop the scripts and the, the snippets or the code snippets um, uh, on a link that, that you can get it from. I'm going to put this on my webpage so that you can take the code snippets from there to do what you want to do. So please stay in touch with us. We'll be doing more of these kind of videos that will be very useful. Why will this kind of tool be useful? This kind of tool is a what you call a lead magnet that you can use to attract people to your website to gain some free traffic from uh, Google. Because if you are offering people a free resource like this, I mean, why would they not come to use it? Another thing is, actually, if you do have more advanced versions of this, you can actually sell them, or you can um, make it available to those who make them, those other new tools available to people who are willing to pay a small print to enjoy the benefits of that tool. So stay with us. We'll be doing more. We're going to be telling you guys of more prompts that you can use for different things, uh, email generation prompts and everything like that. So thank you very much. It's been a pleasure uh, having you on, and I look forward to the next video. Thank you, and God bless you.